Welcome to our discussion on the creation of a biological evaluation report as per ISO 10993, Part 1. This standard is a key component in the medical device industry, ensuring the safety and biocompatibility of devices. It's a complex process that requires a deep understanding of the standard and its application. The first step in creating a biological evaluation report is the identification of the device's intended purpose and its physical and chemical properties. This includes understanding how the device is made, what materials it is made from, and how it interacts with the human body. Once we've gathered all the necessary information, we move on to the risk assessment. This involves identifying any potential hazards associated with the device and then evaluating the potential for these hazards to cause harm. This is a crucial step in ensuring the safety of the device. After the risk assessment, we then proceed to the biological evaluation. This is where we test the device to see how it interacts with biological systems. We look at things like cytotoxicity, sensitization, and irritation among others. It's a rigorous process that requires meticulous attention to detail. The final step in creating a biological evaluation report is the compilation of all the data and finding into a comprehensive document. This report is then reviewed by qualified experts who ensure that the report is accurate and meets the standards set by ISO 10993 Part 1. It's important to note that creating a biological evaluation report is not a task that can be taken lightly. The process requires a team of qualified experts with a deep understanding of the standard and its application. These experts play a crucial role in ensuring the safety and efficacy of medical devices.